dear students today we will discuss on topic time and temperature here reena is sitting in isha's room isha's mom made soup for both of them reena are you not having that bowl of soup yes isha I love soup but it is very hot. Temperature. Yes, dear students, temperature is a measure of how hot or cold an object is compared to another object. Temperature indicates that heat flows from the object with a higher temperature to the object with a lower temperature. And temperature is measured using a thermometer yes dear students do you know that it is difficult to know the exact level of hotness or coolness by touch because the sense of touch varies from one person to another to find exact answer we need some measure of hotness or coolness so temperature is the measure of the hotness or coolness of an object with reference to some standard value the instrument which measures the temperature of body is known as thermometer yes dear students there are different different types of thermometers you will study about that in higher classes here each thermometer has a scale two different temperature scales that are commonly used are they are the fahrenheit scale the fahrenheit scale is marked from 32 degree fahrenheit to 212 degree fahrenheit 32 degree fahrenheit indicates the freezing point of water and 212 degree indicates the boiling point of water dear students here fahrenheit a unit of measurement of temperature yes it is a unit of measured meant of temperature on a standard in which 32 degree fahrenheit to 212 degree fahrenheit right and it indicates also the boiling point of water and the freezing point of water yes students celsius okay the celsius is also a measurement of a temperature on a standard okay in which we can see here the celsius scale is also called the centigrade scale and it is marked from 0 degree celsius to 100 degree celsius right 0 degree celsius indicates the freezing point of water and 100 degree celsius indicates the boiling point of water in thermometer now comparison of two scales here we can see that the comparison right this is thermometer yes dear students this is the celsius scale and this is fahrenheit scale right so here we can see that the water in degree celsius if you will see so water freezes on 0 degree celsius right in celsius scale and water boils at 100 degree celsius okay and the normal body temperature in celsius scale is 37 degree celsius in celsius scale water freezes at 0 degree celsius water boils at 100 degree celsius and the normal body temperature right that is 37 degree celsius if you will see the fahrenheit scale so you can see here that water freezes on 32 degree fahrenheit and water boils at 212 degree fahrenheit right and the normal uh, body temperature in fahrenheit fahrenheit scale that is 98.6 degree fahrenheit right so now comparison of two scales when the temperature is given in degree celsius step 1 multiply the given temperature in 
degree by 9. Step 2. Divide the product obtained by 5. Step 3. Add 32 to the quotient obtained in step 2 to get the temperature in degree Fahrenheit. 1. The temperature is given in degree Fahrenheit and we'll have to find the temperature in degree Celsius. So, step 1. We will subtract 32 from the given temperature in degree. Step 2. Multiply the difference obtained from this step 1 by 5. Right? Then step 3. Divide the product obtained from step 2 by 9 to get the temperature in degree Celsius. Right? Yes. We can see here. Formulas are here. We can see. Yes. To convert into degree Celsius scale to degree Fahrenheit scale, we have this formula. We will have to follow this formula which is degree Celsius multiplied by 9 by 5 then plus 32 then whatever the answer will come it will be converted in temperature in degree fahrenheit right and to convert into degree fahrenheit scale to degree celsius we will follow this formula that is degree fahrenheit minus 32 multiplied by 5 upon 9 is equal to whatever solution we will get that temperature will be the degree celsius right let's see few example here now we will solve a few questions of my practice time 5 question number 3 convert the following into fahrenheit scale a 35 degree celsius here we have formula okay for finding the degree fahrenheit right so degree celsius multiplied by 9 by 5 plus 32 is equal to degree fahrenheit so we'll have to put the value of degree celsius first from here right so uh, let's put the value of degree celsius here 35 multiplied by 9 by 5 plus 32 right let's solve first we will multiply this 35 by 9 35 multiplied by 9 9 5 is a 45 5 carry 4 over here then 9 3 is a 27 plus 4 will be 31 right now we have 315 now we will divide this by 5. So 5, 6 are 30. 1 minus here 3 minus 3 will be 0. Then 1 minus 0 will, will be 1. Right. And 5 we will bring down. Right. So here 5, 3 is a 15. Right. Now we have 63. Now we will add 63 plus 32 right so 3 plus 2 will be 5 6 plus 3 will be 9 so here the answer is 35 degrees celsius is equal to 95 degree fahrenheit right now next question of my practice time 5 question number 3 b again convert the following into fahrenheit scale that is 400 degree celsius right we have the same formula that is degree Celsius multiplied by 9 by 5 plus 32 is equal to degree Fahrenheit. We have to find. Right. So, here we have to again put the value of degree Celsius that is 400 degree Celsius. So, 400 multiplied by 9 by 5 plus 32. Now, we will multiply first 400 by 9. So, 9 zeros are 0, 9 zeros are 0, 9 fours are 36. Right. Now we will divide this 30, uh, uh, 3600 by 5. Right. So here first 5 7 is 35. So here 6 minus 5 will be 1. 3 minus 3 will be 0. Then we will bring down 0. Okay. So now 5 2 is 10. Right. So 0 minus 0 will be 0. 1 minus 1 will be 0. Now we will bring down 0 here then 5 0 is a 0 right now we have 720 so what to do now we will add this 720 by 32 let's add here 0 plus 2 will be 2 2 plus 3 will be 5 and 7 so we have 752 so 400 degrees celsius is equal to 752 degree fahrenheit now my practice time 5 question number 4 
convert the following into Celsius scale. Now we'll have to convert this in Celsius scale in Fahrenheit scale. We have given the temperature here, right? So here we have the different formula that is degree Fahrenheit minus 32 multiplied by 5 by 9 is equal to degree Celsius. Here we'll have to find out the temperature in degree Celsius, right? So it is given 212 degree Fahrenheit, right? So let's put the value in formula here. So 212 minus 32 multiplied by 5 by 9. So let's subtract this first. We will subtract 32 from 212. So here 2 minus 2 will be 0. We cannot subtract here 3 from 1. So let's take borrow from 2. So it will be 11. Okay. So 11 minus 3 will be 8 and after returning the borrow there will be 1. So we will write 1. So 180. Now what we will do? We will multiply 180 by this 5. Right? Then 5 0 is a 0. Then 5 8 is a 40 carry 4 over here. Then 5 1 is a 5 plus 4 will be 9. So we have 900. Now we will divide this 900 by 9. Let's divide here. So 9 was a 9. 9 minus 9 will be 0. We will bring down 0 here. So 0. So 9 0 is a 0. Then again we will bring down one more 0 here. So 9 0 is a 0. Right. So we have 100. Right. So here 212 degree Fahrenheit is equal to 100 degree celsius right my practice time five question number four convert the following into degree celsius 248 degree fahrenheit so we have again the same formula degree fahrenheit minus 32 multiplied by 5 by 9 is equal to degree celsius right so let's put the value of fahrenheit Right, 248 minus 32 multiplied by 5 by 9. So, we'll have to subtract 32 from 248 first. So, 8 minus 2 will be 6, 4 minus 3 will be 1. Then, we will write 2 as it is. Now, what we will do? We will multiply 216 by 5. Yes, so 5, 6 are 30, 0, 3 carry over here. 5 ones are 5, 5 plus 3 will be 8. Then, 5 twos are 10. So we have 1080. Now we will divide this 1080 by 9. Let's divide here. So 9 ones are 9. Right. So 10 minus 9 will be 1. Now we will bring down 8. So 9 to the 18. 8 minus 8 will be 0. 1 minus 1 will be 0. Now we will bring down 0 here. Then 9 0 is a 0. Right. So we have 120. So there is 248 degree Fahrenheit is equal to 120 degree Celsius. Right. Dear students, home task is given to you. You have to solve this in your fair notebook. Right. Thank you.